Well, how are you? Uh, I'm okay. Good. Yeah, Welcome to the show. We've got a, a beverage for you by a man who you yeah. can see naked this on. Is quite a lump here. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> a little pillow there under you there. Sit at an angle. Yeah, yeah, I've had lumps down there before, but this is a square one, so I'm not oh, used to that. Oh, I see. Look at this. Mm, there look at the service. service. I can really drink that? Yes. Yes, you can. Okay. You can drink whatever you'd like on our show. Okay. Um, so tell me, why did you decide to make uh, a film and not stay in television? Because oh, I couldn't get work in TV. <laughs> oh, really? Well, I had, I mean, I don't think I'd ever have been hired in America. Cause I went to England. Like, right. You know, like right. Clint Eastwood went to um, Italy to kind of be able to do things that he couldn't do here. Um, yeah, no, I went to England and I found that they actually liked weird people and they liked weird writing. They liked to actually write about yourself and your friends. And so I wrote a sitcom uh, called Agony where everybody smoked dope. Oh, lovely. And the main characters were me and my boyfriend, although, you know, we had slightly different names for him. So it's autobiographical. And totally autobiographical. Oh. So I could actually kind of write about things I cared about. And when I came back to America, there was absolutely no interest in that kind of writing at all. We don't like men and weed here in the States, oh, it's unfortunately. Because <laughs> I wrote the show Stone, so it should be Watchstoned and all the act, you know. It was nice. Like, it, was, it was the only show on British TV at the time that, where the main character smoked dope and had a pot plant kind of right in her living room, which she'd water during every episode. Oh, that so, was sweet. See, that's British TV for you. It's, it's wonderful. Kind of, yeah, isn't it nice? Their teeth and their television are both a little off. Yeah, their teeth are really off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why you like. I just have a question. I mean, I was thinking about your, the things you write. Is any of this based on anyone that we may know? Any true, true people that are characters in your books? Mm, talk about my film, maybe. Or your film, maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe my mother, because I'm so fascinated with my mother. Your mother? Yeah, Tell my mother. us about her. Well, uh, I grew up with a mother who makes sex toys. Oh, my. Yeah, I know. All right. You know, it would actually, it was, it was very embarrassing when I was a teenager. I was kind of like, oh, my God. You know, she's, she knows all these sleazy people, and it was kind of, you know, it is a, it, it's much more of a wholesome world now, but when it first started, I'm it was sure. really kind of, you know, you know, gangsters and that kind of yeah. fringe stuff. Uh, but no, she was really clever. She invented some sex products that really took off, some different kind of fruit-flavored lubricants. She was the first to invent fruit-flavored lubricants. I probably have used her. That you could lick off and Ooh. eat and stuff. So while the boy next door's mother's putting up preserves, your mother's making flavored <laughs> lubricants. Yeah. <laughs> Which mother would you rather have? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe a combination. Oh, okay. Well, she's a little how about, the other way, too. How about preserves you can use as lubricant? <laughs> she makes those. Oh, okay. Actually, yeah. In fact, I think... I think there you go. One-stop shopping. One-stop. Um, and I've used her products before, so that's kind of, you know, it's very handy. Whenever I need us, you know, whenever I need condoms, I just go to mom oh. and I can get them at cost. Did she so. use the prototypes on you? Uh, no. 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 Let's not get too weird. Oh, uh, uh, it's too Oedipal. I don't all right. want to come All right. Well, let's switch there. subjects. Let's talk about gay cinema. Tell me what's going on in gay cinema now. No idea. You have no idea at no. all? No. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, it's, it's funny. Again, I have to go back to England. There's a sense in England that yeah. you kind of do your own thing, you find your own voice, and you don't necessarily just fit into the genre. So I've kind of, when I made A Dirty Little Business, it wasn't to fit into any genre, and I soon discovered it was not no genre. It was a sex comedy, but it was also a romantic comedy. And what do you think? I was going to say, but you have a play, Risky Kisses, that's being made into a movie. Is that correct? Yeah, but they're having a lot of trouble making it into a movie. Why is that? Well, uh, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers are two characters in it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it breaks stereotypes. It isn't not stereotypes, but it breaks genres. Um, what is it about? Uh, it's based on a director, Peter Collinson, who had a wife and a mistress that one day switched places on him. Mm. So he came home and his mistress was there and his wife had moved out and they, they, had, they kind of had, they'd got together and kind of had a little conspiracy going. I mean, it was, it was almost like a joke type thing, but I kind of extended it into a play. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty interesting. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah. I, see, yeah. I would pay to see that, but I'm not your yeah. average American. You know, I kind of believe in writing about stuff that's really happening and that you sure. know and you experience. Absolutely. So since I had a mother who makes sex toys, um, I had a set already built of a sex toy factory. She's got a three-story sex toy factory. Um, I figured, what a great place to set a movie. I mean, can you imagine? We just saw Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory on the big screen. Can you imagine <laughs> it's you similar. in the sex factory on very the big similar. screen? She has a lubricant mixing room where they do, and the chocolate is one of their flavors. Wow. So, it yeah. could really be called it? Willy Wonka. <laughs> this the Willy's movie about sex. Wonka. Willy Wonka um, yeah. Okay, so you also write a sex advice column, right? Um, well, I used to. This was in England. I wrote for Forum magazine, you know, okay, House yeah, Forum, yes. and I was like their gay sex guy. So, give me advice on finding Mr. Right or Mr. Wrong. 
Oh, I found plenty of Mr. Wrongs. Yeah, no, really the best advice I give you is there are no Mr. Rights and you just have to realize that everybody's full of neurosis and fault. Everybody's screwed up. I know I can't say the F word, so everybody's screwed up. Mm -hmm. And we got to stop pretending that we're looking for somebody that's going to fulfill everything and just... Yes. You know, Doesn't except exist. somebody that's as neurotic as we are, basically. And stop pretending Just that. in different ways. Yeah. Yeah. We're at Product Promotions, and I'm sitting here with Terry Richmond, the icon. Yes, the first, the one, the only icon of the sex industry. What exactly is Product Promotions? A conservative name for the product, mm -hmm. because people weren't ready to accept some of the names that they have right now. Emotion Lotion, Joy Gel, and Vice Spice. Half Penis. Her Ass Mint. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The things I make uh, make things slippery, they're edible, they taste good, so lovers don't become mm -hmm. bored with each other. I don't know what it is about being in this room and being around you and Chicky, but I'm getting a little turned on with all this emotion lotion. I see an ejaculated well, butt we'll plug right there. We'll be glad to give you samples. We keep this room isolated because everything has to be sanitary. Yes. Wipe your hands before going in. <laughs> right here, they're filling the... Honeydew Emotion Lotion. Do you sample all of your products? I have to sample everything before it's made just to make sure that people are going to like it. Do you know if a lot of gay men buy your products? All the time, because they need things that are going to be a little slippery. And taste good. Okay, let's get on to the good stuff. i got to see some toys, Gerald. And these are tiny little suckers <laughs> that you can suck on. <laughs> we have the same thing in penises. Uh, I'm going to have to get a jar of those to take home. Not but the penises. Yes. Okay, so... In that case, you must be gay. I, I am. I did, could you not tell? Well, I could tell when you were fascinated with penises. Speaking of penises, we've got a little tiny one right here. How about, how about we race? You be the girl, I'll be the boy. Ready, set, go. Oh, oh my, mine went... Well, uh, he's going away from the woman because he knows that's not where it's at. That's not what he that's wants. That's not what he wants. Now tell me about these. Oh, that's edible underwear. Uh, and we make it taste good. Have you tasted these yourself? Well, I've tasted it to make sure it was a good product to sell. Mm-hmm. I love it. Well, I'm just going to go and uh, see what else I can find in the way. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> What a wonderful day. Do I turn you on? That's why I got the up and coming lotion, honey, of course. Well, I like men. So, wow, we got something in common. High five, sister. <laughs> We are here uh, at OnQ Live, and we've got just quite a fun, wonderful show. And Len Richmond is here, best friends with George W. Bush and the Republican Christian ah! right. I know, I know. I, I have to leave now. If you, if you oh grow up God. with the mom and the porn industry, hey, I'm listen, sure. Listen, I have to tell you something. With, yeah. the, um, with the hurricane, you know, just putting the sadness aside, it's completely mm -hmm. destroyed her business in that part of the world because... Mississippi and Louisiana are huge buyers of sex toys. Well, it's a huge portion of the Bible Belt. What do you expect? Well, it's true. And she sells more products in Utah than any other state. So Woo! there's so Go much figure. hypocrisy out there. Amen. You know what? Let's not talk about her unless she's out here. Len's mom, come on out. Miss Richmond. <laughs> Welcome. Thank How you. are you? You look fantastic. Thanks. We're pleased to have you. We have a beverage for you. Lovely Liz with some big hair today and a big glass. Wow. 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 All right. I'm dying to know, how did you get started in this business? Well, I had a great lover, and I wanted to make sure he never became bored with me. So I started creating different products. I flavored Vaseline and other things that would make it taste good and make it slippery and it worked and so he said you know these things are so good why don't we put them on the market it mentioned that he had a lot of money too well since he was a millionaire oh. uh, he so helped me get you were started a smart woman. that's why you so. wanted to keep them because you got how long were you lovers for 10 years wow 
Good for you. I mean, you... And it's mentioned in the movie, too. Oh, it is? Yes. How old are you? Do you mind me asking? I'm 84. Oh. You, my... <laughs> you look fantastic. Okay, Thank so you. the movie we talked about, it's oh, right yeah. here. We've got it. A Dirty Little Business. A Dirty Little Business. And it's starring Michael York, Prunella G, and Beverly D'Angelo. Is it a dirty business? Well, we were talking earlier that it had to be sanitary. People call it a dirty business. Ah. Of course it isn't. Everything has to be sanitary. As a matter of fact, the Food and Drug Administration didn't know what category to put us in because many of the things we make are cosmetics. Really? But since they were edible, they put us. They gave us a food license. And that's how we're operating. And mention that they're kosher. <laughs> oh, they're kosher. Yeah, I have a Jewish mother, so there you go. It cracked me up when she said, "And of course, we, all our stuff is kosher." How many years have you, you been serious? doing this? I swear to God, it's kosher. Forty-two years. Forty-two years. Do you think you'll ever retire? Well, I am retired. Oh, you now. are retired. Yes. So, who takes care of the business? Uh, I turned it over to my employees. They're running it. All right. And they're doing a good job. Good for you. Yeah. And can I just mention her, yeah, yeah. her employees are in a dirty little business. They play extras. Oh, do they? So, because we filmed it in the factory yeah. using a real employees, it's basically her life story. Blah blah blah. That's, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. What, what is it's the number me. one seller? What's your most popular product? Emotion lotion. Emotion lotion. And Which Chris is, had some of that. Uh, it gets warm when you home. rub it. It mm -hmm. gets hot when you blow on it. It's completely edible, and it stays slippery as long as you want it to be. Did you bring us some? Uh, I uh, have well, some for you later. Well, they had <laughs> samples of it yesterday. Oh, great. Oh, Chris it's and I are cocktail glasses now. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, well, then I'm just going to... It went down so smoothly. Mm. <laughs> that is delicious. You know, I brought one of the stars of the film. You brought one yeah, of the stars of the film. this is a surprise. Oh, wait. We have... Mm. Oh, okay. Did you really? Did. Wait, bring... Well, show us the... Oh. Oh. And it's also one of Mom's products, so... Uh, I think I know him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, in, me, it's in the movie. This is... <laughs> it's really large, but it's real. That's what's got And believe it you. or not, it sells. This sells? Oh, yes. What is it made of? Do you, now, do people really buy this <laughs> it's, for... It's a very soft material. It feels like the real thing. Do you think people buy this stuff for real? I don't know what real? the real thing feels like. Yes. Oh. Is this for real, or is it for just, like, jokes? Like, I mean, I know that no, sometimes people... No, I think it's... Usable. Really? Yeah. That isn't that scary? That is, I don't know where I would I mean, put I'm this. My other life, than my dining me. room table. I think it's <laughs> a perfect accessory to add. It looks like one of those meter measures for playing the piano. It doesn't have to be. Who, <laughs> who tests the merchandise? Do you test it yourself? Well, I make sure that the flavors are good. Okay. We have to go through quite a few before we find the ones the that we want to use. Like what? Are, like you have like banana, peach. We have as many flavors as Baskin Robbins has ice cream. Ooh. Really? It's 31. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they don't want me to have that. A little, it's right here. Well, listen, while we were sitting here, someone just brought an email in. We did get an email, yes. And it says, I love Elaine. Oh. <laughs> My mother must have written in. It says, Elaine, I have been a fan of yours so, so very long. It's great to see you on TV where you belong. By the way, who designed your dress you're wearing? It's fabulous. Well, thank you very much. It was designed by a transsexual friend of mine named Chanel Dupree, who was voted the most famous and most beautiful transsexual in the world this year. Wow. So I'm very honored to have her as my stylist and my wardrobe designer. That's pretty sweet. I Thank think you, Chanel. Stone wore something very similar to that. And yes, she did, her legs, But I don't want you to do that. Because no, well, please I don't ask me to cross my legs. Jewelry. What was that? Oh. I envy all that Jews. jewelry. This is made by the Dragon Lady Earring Company of Dallas, Texas. Oh, oh that's God. wonderful. Plug them. <laughs> we have the equipment to plug them. Oh, um, okay. To plug them. Yes. <laughs> Is there? A, do you have a website? How can people find out about this or, oh, or yes. get your it's products? It's called Product Promotions Inc. I N C. dot com. Okay. Product Promotions Inc. And they have all the products displayed in color on the web. And you can see all her products in a dirty little business. They're oh. all there. Well, I think what you've a, done a great, a great service. Point. Well, I have to show you some of the things we sell. Oh, good. Let's see. This one is called Hot Lips. Ooh. And it, it's cinnamon, and it actually does tingle. I bet Sasuke would Can like I that. And this one. This one's useful. I've used this. I don't know how to spell very well, so when I was writing penicillin, <laughs> I spelled it P-E-N-I-S-C-I-L-L-I-N. You can say penis. Penis. You can say penis. Penicillin. 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 And that's what it is. It's to heal sore penises. And it actually mm. works overnight. Wait, to heal... Like if a, yeah, if you like some if rash like or if rough, blue balls. not the if rash you need to see a doctor about. It, it, and, you know, yeah. oh. and it's a little sore. Just, this will yeah, heal exactly. it overnight. I'm gonna take this one home. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I, what else do you have? And over this there? is the newest one. It's uh, a vibrator 
tongue. Wow. And I put batteries in it so you could see how it works of because course. it is powerful. <laughs> Here. Woo! Try Whoa. it out. Oh, oh my gosh. My. You can mix your drink. Yeah. Well, thank you, Mrs. Richmond, so much for the insight <laughs> on all these wonderful toys. You've been a delight. <laughs> and we're going to be back after this station identification. <laughs>